Hi guys, welcome back to Algo Test. In this video, we're going to continue with our series of recommended execution strategy settings. And this time, we're going to talk about all the re entry features, namely re entry ASAP, re ASAP, re momentum, and re cost. So, first, we're going to build a strategy for each of these features, and then we're going to explain the recommended strategy settings for each. All right, let's get straight into the video. I'm currently on the Algotest landing page and I'm going to click on go to dashboard. I'm going to close this box, click on save strategies, 920 straddle, add new. So first let's build a sample template for the re ASAP feature. Now let's say I want to sell a short straddle and I'm putting a stop loss of let's say 30% on either leg, selling a call and a put. And I want to put a re-entry on stop loss and for this I want to use ASAP, right? So I'm going to click re ASAP and I can change it to as many times as I like. Let's say I want to do it five times. Obviously, this is not a strategy recommendation as we detail in all of our videos. This is just to explain the feature using a template. So I'm going to click on save strategy and name this as re ASAP and click on done. Now. Let's head to live trade, close this and find our strategy under the strategy name search bar. Search for re ASAP, there it is. Now I'm gonna hover over the setup execution button and click on it. So you first see this simple settings box. I'm gonna click on the advanced settings blue text down here. And that opens up a bigger box wherein we have multiple options to choose from. So first things first, for NRML, MIS, this is completely dependent on you. If you're trading intraday, you should use MIS. Otherwise, you can use NRML based off of your individual needs. For target or stop loss reference price, you have obviously trigger and traded options. We received a few queries in our previous video asking us about these two. So let me explain it real quick. Although we have a whole video detailing what all these different parameters mean, and we'll link that in the description of this video as well. Essentially, Let's say if you have a strategy that you want to enter at 100 rupees, right? You want to sell a call option when it reaches 100 rupees. That is your trigger price, right? At 100 rupees, the trade will be initiated. But because the market is constantly moving on a second basis, it's possible that the option is actually sold not for 100, but maybe slightly higher or slightly below. This is known as slippage, of course. So you can choose whether you want your reference price to be on the basis of trigger price, which would be 100, or traded price, which could be potentially higher or lower. For example, it was triggered at 100 rupees, so that would be my trigger price if I choose that as reference. But let's say it was traded at 110, so my reference price will be 110, so all my stop losses and all that will be on the basis of 110 and not 100 if I choose traded in this box. All right, now that we've got that out of the way, we recommend selecting trigger. And in the entry order type, we recommend you change it to market and click on OK. Exit order type will remain limit. You can change the limit buffer or the trigger buffer if you so wish. And once you've done this, make sure you don't forget to press this button over here that says copy to legs and you select all the legs that you want this to be applied to and then click on apply to selected legs and finally click on set up execution settings. Now let's talk about re-momentum type of strategies. Once again, let's build a strategy. This time, let's change the entry time to 9.30. And we're going to buy a call or buy a put. What we want to do is we want to set momentum. So simple momentum, simple momentum. So we want to buy the call when, let's say, the options price goes up by 20. And we want to buy the put when the price of the option goes down by 20, right? Again not a strategy recommendation, just to demonstrate. Now we're going to click on re-entry on stop loss, re-entry on stop loss, change this to re-momentum in either case. Now, this is our simple momentum based strategy. Let's put this as 10 re-entries, for example, and save this strategy as re-momentum. Done. Now let's head back to live trade, close this box. Once again, we're going to search for our strategy, which is re-momentum right here. Click on setup execution. Once again, click on the advanced settings button and that takes you 
to this bigger populated box. The recommended settings for, for a momentum-based strategy is NRML or MIS, whatever you'd like, trigger for the target or stop loss reference price, delay entry up to you. Entry order type should be limit. And we also recommend the exit order type should be limit. Once again, we're not gonna forget to click on copy to all legs, select all, apply to all selected legs. And finally, click on setup execution settings. And that was for re-momentum. And finally, we have re-cost. Let's build another strategy. Let's sell a call and a put. Let's add a stop loss here. Change it up a bit. Change it to this time underlying points. Let's say 50 and stop loss underlying points 50. Underlying points is 50 for each. Now we're gonna click on re-entry on stop loss. Change this to re-cost. And let's say we only wanna do it one time. So enable this as well, re-entry cost. Save this strategy and name it as re-cost. Click on done. Now head to live trade. Once again, close this box, search for our strategy, re-cost. There it is. Now head on over to setup execution and click the advanced settings button. Once again, we're greeted by this bigger populated box. And now we're gonna choose uh, an RML or MIS as per your decision. And then target stop loss reference price should be trigger. Entry order type limit. Your trigger buffer, limit buffer can be as per your liking. And exit order type will once again be limit. You can add the buffers as per your preference. Now I know I sound like a broken record, but please let's not forget to click on copy to all legs, select all, apply to selected legs, and now it's applied to all the legs in the strategy. Now click on set up execution settings and we're good. So thanks for watching this video guys. We hope you found it useful and we hope we've helped you better your live trading experience on Algodest. If you want to know about the individual settings in the setup execution settings box, we've left the link in our description for that video. So feel free to check it out and watch it as many times as you need. See you in the next one.